Sometimes I like them, sometimes I hate them. Sometimes they're useful and sometimes a total waste of time. <laughs> what am I talking about? Pull loops on boots. G'day, welcome back to Bootlosophy. My name is Tech. I acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands I live on, the Wajit people. Today I'm talking about what's developing into a, a pet peeve of mine, pull loops on boots, or more specifically, pull loops that don't seem to meet the objectives. <laughs> whatever kind of boots you wear, uh, whatever work boots or service boots, Chelsea boots, pull-up boots or lace-up boots, you'll have come across pull loops and you may love them or hate them. There's uh, even a, a Reddit subthread on whether you should uh, order pull tabs on uh, Nick's boots and people seem to come down 50-50 about them. I don't know. Uh, watch this video and tell me which way you fall and why. Call them uh, pull loops, pull tabs, tugs, bootstraps. Uh, they all fulfill a purpose. They make it easier to pull your boot on. You slip your feet in uh, part of the way and then the opening maybe uh, gets a bit tough to turn the corner. So you either have to pull on the collar of the boot or just uh, stomp your feet in, which might damage the leather uh, at the collar certainly and maybe on the heel counter, probably damage the backstay uh, if you do it too often. Sure, you can use a shoe or boot horn. I wonder how many of you use one. <laughs> But not all boots have the room, and particularly for taller boots, it's not that easy. In some situations, uh, like if you're out camping, you probably didn't think of packing a shoehorn, did you? And anyway, admit it, it's not very butch and manly, right? So the main purpose of the pull loops is clear. Oh, by the way, uh, there's probably a couple of supplementary uses for the pull loops that I've discovered when I tried to research this. On certain boots, if they're placed right, you can thread your laces through them uh, if you uh, wrap your boots, if you wrap your laces around the, the uh, top of the boot. They can improve both uh, fitting around the calf and stability as well. And an AI site that I looked at called Poe actually said that they can help with hanging your boots up. Anyone ever do that? <laughs> but no, the main purpose of the pull loops is clear. They help you pull up the boot. So why do so, so many boot makers use totally dysfunctionally useless pull loops. And why do bootmakers put them on boots that you can pull on easily, like short uh, five or six inch service boots, uh, or even taller boots with a generous fully gusseted tongue that you can open right out? So tell me, do you find them useful or annoying? Well, I have my ideas, but uh, before we go on, let me just enumerate the many different uh, manifestations of this supposedly helpful part of the boot anatomy. The first major type are leather pull loops, uh, but even then they are stitched on in two different ways. The first is like this thoroughbred classic mock toe, where the leather loop sits quite low uh, and almost below the level of the collar. The second is like this Bourdon Isidro, where the leather loop uh, is stitched well above the level of the collar uh, and sticks right out. The Isidro is an example of a pull loop that's uh, big and beefy and easy to grab, but you can also get them like on this pair of the Golden Fox boondocker boots that are so small you can't even get your little finger into it. The second major type of pull loops are just leather tabs, not loops, uh, sewn at the back, for example, like on this Cordobis uh, Capto boot. They tend to be small uh, and difficult to grab hold of. The third major type of pull, boot, uh, pull loops are made of cloth or textile. They're mostly used on Chelsea boots, but English bootmakers will also use uh, cloth pull tabs on lace-up boots. They can be just one uh, pull loop at the back of the boot, like on these Granson Fred uh, Broke Country boots. Or more famously, on uh, Australian Chelsea boots like RM Williams, where you will see one at the front and one at the back to help you uh, open up the throat and pull the Chelsea on. Although it is true that even RM Williams, when using them on a lace-up boot, uh, will only stitch them to the back, uh, like this pair of their King Scott lace-up boot. Makers who use textile pull loops are also prone to use very small ones, like on this Astoflex Bitflex 
uh, Chelsea. Again, a child would find it difficult to push their finger into that. Uh, finally, the fourth major type of pull loops are those you see on cowboy boots. Uh, loops at the sides of the shaft, like on this pair of uh, Australian branded Ringer's Western Roper boot. They are sewn more or less flat against the sides and have a large loop to really get your fingers in, or a couple of fingers, and pull. Now, at the start of this video, I said that pull loops or pull tabs are supposed to make it easier to pull your boots on. And since in the examples that we've seen, they appear on lace-up boots as well as pull-up boots like Chelsea's and cowboy boots, you'd expect a universal function, that of pulling on your boots. But let me ask you, do you really need pull loops or pull tabs to help you pull on a lace-up boot where most of the time you can uh, open up the, the Derby open style lacing system uh, and if you really need to pull, pull them on by grabbing the back of the shaft uh, or the sides? Now I get it. If you're dealing with a taller boot like this uh, next collaboration with Parker's boot or you uh, wearing tall logging boots, it is very difficult to just pull them on by grabbing the shaft. I get that. Uh, so I get why they could be useful on taller boots. But in six inch lace up boots, let's take a look at the Golden Fox again. Do you really need a pull tab? So to me, one of the bad uses of pull loops is on low six inch or even five inch boots. Nobody seems to have a problem pulling on Thursday Captain's or Viberg Service boots or Parker's boots or Grantstone boots and those don't have pull tabs. More often than not, especially if they are made of leather and if they stand up, especially in short boots, they catch your jeans or pants uh, whenever you sit down and stand up again. I do see uh, boot posers, oh sorry, stylists, wearing Chelsea boots and advising their subscribers to leave the back of their pants uh, hanging on the loops to show off the boot. Really? <laughs> the, the other bad thing about pull loops, and leather ones in particular, is that they are stitched so that they stand up above the collar. That is an invitation to catch your pants. I like the lower examples, like again on the Thoroughgood, where the tumbled leather is soft anyway, um, and where they sit almost under the level of the collar. They still function as intended, you can push your finger in there and pull them on, but they are unobtrusive and they don't catch your pants, or, or well, almost never. It would be better if they were sewn lower and closer to the collar, like on the uh, side pull loops of cowboy boots. I mean, those do not stick out much at all. And clearly, little, little tiny pull loops of tabs are ridiculous. The Astorflex loop and the uh, Cordoba's tab Oh, you really can't grab them, so you tend to uh, grab the back of the shaft anyway. Worse, some are stitched on so poorly, they sometimes pull off. And, last rant, why do some boot makers attach only one pull tab at the back of Chelsea boots? When you pull on a Chelsea boot, it's much easier to grab both pull tabs, like on the RM Williams, and then pull on them evenly. On the other hand, to be fair, uh, for some boots, the pull loops are crucial. I only own one pair of uh, cowboy boots and one pair of roper boots, but both are tall and with no laces. I don't think I could pull them on without tugging on something. In the case of tall western boots, having pull loops and having them sewn on to the side of the shaft is perfect design. I also said they would be useful in taller uh, uh, lace-up boots, like this pair of Fortis uh, lace to toe boots, which are a collaboration with the Happiness Carpenter. Even though the, the lace fronts open up quite a bit, being such a tall boot, it's really useful having a pull tab to pull and help, you know, pop your heel in. Okay, so I guess what I'm saying is that pull loops have a purpose. But if they don't suit the purpose, why attach them at all? <laughs> or if you do, how about making them useful and unobtrusive? It seems to me the fashion these days is that in order to make a tough and rugged boot, you slap on a pull loop. My suggestion to brands. So my suggestion to boot brands is to stick to functionality. If you're making a shorter, you know, up to uh, six inch tall service or work boot where the laces open up, uh, rethink the design of adding on a pull loop or tab. 
If you really feel you need to, perhaps because your lace facings don't open up enough, because the, uh, maybe the half gusset tongue doesn't uh, allow you to open it up enough, then okay. But please make them functional. Don't make them so small that you can't grab them unless you have the delicate fingers of a ballet dancer with the strength of Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> if you're making a taller boot that does need pull loops, don't be tempted to make them big and beefy with thick leather that stands up above the collar, uh, looking like giant rabbit ears stuffed with steel. Make them so that they fold under and are flat against the collar and the shaft. Helping your people hook up their pants to look cool is not cool. The pull loops on these nicks are super beefy, but they also soften enough and being a tall boot, they're less prone to sticking your pants up even though they do from time to time. Better yet, unless they, uh, they're really, you know, tough guy firefighting, logging and concrete kicking boots that you have to, you know, pull on when the going gets tough, like, you know, for most of us at the queue in the cafeteria, <laughs> why not make them of cloth and make sure uh, they are sewn on well and don't pull off. I have never known of the tugs pulling off a pair of RM Williams, even though I've seen plenty of these pairs on horses and in bull paddocks getting really used in tough work. When you need a Jeep, fellas, not a tank, make a Jeep. Finally, Chelsea bootmakers, you know you can't just pull up your Chelsea's from the back, right? You know people cheat and pull them using the collar at the front as well. Put two cloth pull tabs on them, front and back. Whew, rant over. So tell me, which way do you fall? Do you like pull tabs and what types of boots do you like them on? What types of boots don't you want them on? <laughs> or do you hate pull tabs in any way, shape or form? I mean, when I see a purpose, I'm fine with them. But most of the time these days, they seem stuck on because it's the cool look, the thing to do. And it seems that people think the beefier the better. I'm tired of ranting now, I'm going. Click on like and subscribe. No more ranting like this in other videos, I promise. Click on like and subscribe and come back next week. Until then, have fun, take care and see you again soon.